Hey guys, Craig here with GeekTech.ie, back with another video, and today we're taking a look at some of the covers available for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, the covers we're taking a look at are the Tech 21 Classic Mesh, uh, Autobox Symmetry, uh, UAG uh, Navigator, and then UAG Maverick. The difference between the two UAG are just the color changes, but that's pretty much it. Um, I think there is some sort of a different texture that they use for the transparent one versus the composite one, or where it's just a straight up color. But nonetheless, we're gonna give a quick in-depth look on each and uh, every case that we have here, and kind of like an overall comparison between the four different cases, since these are probably the, the, the basic offerings that people are gonna be looking for when they're getting a cover for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. There are for definite uh, a lot of covers out there that will offer much better protection, or even in some cases, much less protection, which uh, slimmer design cases and stuff but these all have a pretty much a similar cover spectrum where they actually cover the phone in a similar way at the similar amount of thickness and stuff so it's a great way to kind of compare these type of covers to each other so we're going to get the video moving on and we're going to take a look at the uag uh, covers first and then move over to the other box one and then finally the tech 21 classic mesh okay let's start by taking a look at the uag covers again like we said before and we're going to take a look at the two uh, covers here which is the um, navigator and the maverick the maverick being a transparent design and the navigator being a clear white cover uh, i already have the maverick one out which i'm going to move to the side here i'm just going to give a quick unboxing of this one just kind of to give you an idea of what's in the box with the uag covers um, i actually have not opened this one yet so pull that off there Uh, I'll actually give you a quick look at the cover if you want to read it there. Um, I'll zoom in. Put this out there. Just zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. Pretty much all the specs uh, impact resistant, easy access. Um, I'm guessing that means to the buttons. Uh, skin pads, uh, near the extra protection around the corners, which we've always been fond of by, about. Uh, feather light uh, composite um, design, glare free flash, doesn't look like the flash, and HD screen protector that's included. Uh, the screen protector that does, does come with, which I'll show you here, I'll zoom back out, um, is pretty crappy. I mean, it's, it's nice that they include one if you don't already have one, but uh, yeah, it's not the best. Um, and I'll show you exactly why that's not actually not the best now in a second. And there are definitely better screen protectors out there. If you're serious about protecting your display, you should definitely look into getting one of them. And um, it comes with a cleaning cloth and cardboard that you can use to flatten out any air bubbles that are on it if you use the screen protector. Cleaning cloth can also be used just to give your phone a wipe down. But here is the two cases themselves. And we're gonna zoom in here and take a closer look at both of these. Okay, so again, the one on the left is the Navigator, which is an all-white design, and then the one on the right is the Maverick, which is a semi sort of transparent design, which you can still see the kind of honeycomb design. But what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna move this one to the left, and, or to the right, and we're gonna zoom in here and show you this one up close. Make sure that's focused. Okay, so as you can see here, not much, if any, has changed from their typical UAG designs. Uh, it's still got the same, again, urban armor uh, kind of um, armory look uh, that you can expect from a, kind of a military style uh, cover here. Uh, we've got rubber, uh, I guess, grips on the sides here along with the uh, power button. And then on the left side, you've got the same with the volume buttons. You can see that okay. As you can see there, yeah. So pretty much, again, bog standard design from UAG. They haven't changed anything for the Note uh, 4, which is uh, pretty good because, I mean, I've always been a fan of the UAG covers and they've always had a great design and the protection has always been great. Again, so basically what we have here on the edges is softish rubber that goes around the phone. Uh, in some areas, though, it's really hard, if you can see. And then the whole white area is completely hard plastic. Uh, composite uh, so it's much it's designed obviously for the protection side of things um, so usability this is where things get a little different I remember with UAG covers it was difficult but not too difficult to get the phones out but I mean it's now gotten nearly impossible to do it repeatedly uh, so once you put a phone in I haven't done it with the composite case but with the Maverick one which is the one I was using mostly um, it was nearly impossible I mean it was sometimes it's a struggle to actually get the phone out and you feel like you're about to bend or break your phone so that might be a concern for anyone who's picking up the Gear VR or something like that if they're constantly taking their phone out swapping out batteries or memory cards 
or sim cards or whatever have you um it's not easy to take this cover off in fact it's uh it's i would somewhat say that you shouldn't do it uh, needlessly so if you plan on taking your phone out of the cover a lot um definitely keep that in mind but um i mean the main aspect of a cover is protection of course and this definitely will protect your device again the same kind of run through protection that we've seen before with uag covers there's a little bit of thickness on the inside rim here so if you put your phone flat down it'll protect the screen it does come with a screen protector and this is where i'm going to show you why the screen protector is a little dodgy it is not exactly cut to protect the entire display if you can see that there which you should be able to see that clearly. I have a pretty shitty screen protector on it already and it has the same problem. It doesn't actually cover the full dimensions of the display. So I'm gonna try and do my best to show you this here. So I'm gonna line that up with the edge of the display. And if you see, it's not completely to the edge of the display there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna make sure that is pretty level. As you can see, it's a good, good, massive, it's enough that makes, I mean, it doesn't make a difference to your finger, but to the S Pen, when you're trying to draw and stuff like that, the S Pen can kind of come off and then catch off the rim of the screen protector, and that's what makes it kind of annoying. So that's pretty much why I would not suggest using this screen protector, because there's got to be better ones out there. Again, if you look closely, though, the screen protector I already have on it, which is one of the shitty ones that I put on it, just in case. Um until I put a better one on it. I'm gonna zoom in there. You might be able to notice it. Hang on, just that focus. If you notice, it's missing about a millimeter the edge of the screen on both sides. So again, it's not cut it. Now I know for argument's sake that this is done because of the 2.5D glass that you, uh, Samsung have used. So they can't actually go the full length of the display because then the, the screen protector would uh, it wouldn't stick to the display and it would start peeling off or getting caught on stuff and it would easily come off in the end but I mean they're not even covering the full uh, aspect of the display and I get they probably do it because of a little bit of leeway so if someone puts on a little bit of crooked the little bit of the 2.5D glass will prevent it from actually sticking down dirt will get underneath it and then it'll eventually it'll just peel off on its own so I can understand it from that aspect, and it is kind of a, a bad thing to see, but again, I mean, it could still, they could do a better job and then just blame people's inability to put a screen protector on perfectly, which I cannot, as you can probably see. There's marks, um, there's like a bubble underneath, just right there in the home button. As you can see, it's nearly impossible to get the screen protectors on perfectly nowadays, but I mean, it's really just about adding a little bit of protection and preventing the screen from getting scratched, which I don't think it will. I mean, they've, they've been able to stand up to pretty much a good amount of, uh, they have a good amount of resistance. But again, it's more about the cover itself, not about the screen protector that it includes. But it's just a kind of an earshot for anyone who thinks that um, they're going to use the screen protector. Inside the UAG case, don't. Get a better one. Get a, a more premium one that's available on the internet. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much the cover. Again, the uh, little bit of thickness there for protecting the display. And then we have the extra padding around the corners. I'm just going to fix the focus there. Um, yeah, the extra padding around the corners, which I've always thought is a great addition, which will stop the low impact points if you drop your phone in your corner. It'll prevent it from shattering, which I think with a metal design phone is more likely to happen now because with plastic it can just crack to deal with the pressure from a drop or the impact or anything like that but with a metal phone it can't so the shock will more likely travel through to the glass and then it'll go probably the reason why the iphone 4 had a lot of shattered displays is because it had a, a metal rim and it just does nothing to protect it and i know a lot of people have wanted metal devices but as i've said before in videos plastic will do a much better job of protecting your device than metal so in this case a cover is probably more warranted although it does kind of curb the uh, metal design nonetheless though i think with the uag cover it is extremely nice and it will do, definitely do a great job protecting your device but keep in mind that opening it is a problem which i'm going to actually try and attempt now on video you can see you kind of need to get that corner out now i'm going to add now that this is not nearly as hard as it is for the maverick one you're going to just push through. The best way to approach I've seen is get one corner out, then use two fingers to get the other corner, and then push through the camera slot to push the phone out. Um, the Navigator one here, as I can just tell you right now, is a lot easier to take apart. It's actually a, pretty much reminds me of the previous UAG covers, but the Maverick one on this is extremely different. Um, it's very difficult to 
remove this cover which i'm actually going to give you a closer look at now i know it's two uga covers and there's only one out of box and one tech 21 cover but it's literally just these are the two that i got so i'm literally just giving you a look at these two different colors which makes sense because when i feel this one this one feels a lot smoother so I'm, i can tell you they're using different material or coating on this one as you can see it's definitely different material so i just wanted to give a look at both anyway so and they might offer different protection but i've used both and they both offer pretty much i mean they both feel the same same durability although as i mentioned since this one is easier to get off i'm guessing it's just a little bit softer as you can see it's a good bit bendable they can both bend pretty easily so it's not too bad i guess i mean it's it's it really just comes down to f uh which one you like the look of they're both pretty much going to offer the same protection anyway but again let's look at this one here and the semi-transparent design we can still see the honeycomb um shapes here on the inside and this is the one that i prefer over the the white one um i do like the white one i really do but i prefer this one because once i put it into the phone here you'll see again it just always feels stiff putting it in there um okay so i like the way it bleeds through and you can still see the letter refill texture in the back of the samsung logo and i've always liked that it probably stemmed from when i did the uag cover the maverick one for the htc1 m8 i just absolutely loved how the metal bleeded through the cover and i, I just swear it was like the best combination of cover and phone design the metal still had a, an impact on the design of the phone rather than just slapping a cover on it and then not seeing it it looked great and i just i mean to be honest with you i just i like the way it bleeds through again it gives you the same color that you have on your device so if you have a white one you can slap the white uh the sorry the, the clear cover on it and you can still see the white cover uh the uh, yeah the white back on your smartphone on the inside so pretty much that's pretty much it i mean again the covers are the same with the same uh, type of uh, layout and protection and stuff just two different colors but that's pretty much it for the uag covers we're going to move over to the other box one now um and we'll take a close look at that and then at the end we're going to do a quick comparison between all the different covers available okay now we have the otterbox symmetry cover this is like a step down from the defender series which offers full-on protection and bulk and all that stuff pretty much for people who definitely want to keep their phone in pristine condition and not get it damaged but these cover this cover the symmetry um it's pretty much between as it says on the, uh, the front of its symmetry balancing between protection and style symmetry so that's pretty much what the aspect here is it's a one piece cover unlike their defender series so we're going to do is take a look at the box here just so you can kind of see it um yeah okay so let's read out here what we've got here sleek jewel material design balances protection and style uh drop protection one piece design for easy installation and uh, sorry i'll just fix the focus there for you guys um and shock absorbing interior that's pretty much it i mean it's again it's cover so you've known exactly what you'd be dealing with uh, design wise so let's just go ahead and pull this out there is no special accessories or screen protector with this cover um, at least I don't think there is. I mean, it just comes with a little piece of uh, extra here, which I will check and see. Uh, symmetry. Okay, this is pretty much for installing it and removing it. I'm not exactly sure why it would need something like that. I mean, I don't think you would be buying a smartphone if you didn't know how to put a cover on it. But anyhow, okay, so that's pretty much the cover and the box and all that nonsense. We'll get that out of the way. And this is the cover. So the one they sent me is the white uh, back and the grey front. I would have liked it if I had a white back and a black front. That would have been really nice. Um, but I was hoping for that they'd actually send me a white one, believe it or not, um, because I wanted another white cover. Um, okay, so this is pretty much the cover. Again, it's one piece. Um, it's very similar to the UAG cover in the sense that we've got some what of a softy side kind of material here and then we've got a really hard back again all designed for protection in mind and there's no extra padding on the corners or anything like that but I guess you could just say that they went for a full thickness around the entire device rather than just adding a bit to the corner oddly they actually have a serial number on it that is mental i did not expecting them to put a serial number on a cover but anywho okay so let's go ahead and pop the phone in here uh get it in there like as you can see pretty seamless no uh obvious uh gaps or anything like that which i've experienced with other covers in the past it's very annoying to put them on um not difficult but just you know 
sometimes there's a little part where the rubber doesn't go on properly but again you can see now this is what i like about this cover is that it's uh it's very uh <laughs> i guess the word the symmetry that they use for it is very nice because it's uh it's very balanced it's very nice the uh covered here it goes down it's very smooth and stuff um, it doesn't add too much bulk. I mean, I, I was surprised because looking at the cover initially, I thought that's going to add a decent amount of bulk, but it actually still keeps the phone fairly slim and the hardback and stuff. It's very slippery. Well, not, not slippery. It's very smooth, but it's got a kind of a, a, a textury feel that you can, like you can feel it's not completely smooth. Like here, this area here is very smooth, very uh, clean. But here, I don't think you're going to be able to slip. Uh, like it's not going to slip out of your hands which I've seen with covers where they literally just make them as smooth as possible and then boom, put it in your hand and it's just going to slip with any chance it gets. Um, but here, when I was using it for, the, for a few days, it like the grip and all was perfect. I mean, it was like if I was holding the phone with a decent grip cover on it, kind of like the UAG ones where they had added grip on the sides. It was similar in that regard. So I'm very pleased with, um, I kind of guess, the comfortability and durability, reliability of the cover. It's very nice. Um, overall the design is pretty bland I mean it's literally two pieces put together two different colors but what's nice about it is that you can pretty much like the color combinations are insane so you can kind of go with your own style that way which is a nice addition I guess um, protection wise um, again they have a decent amount of thickness here in the front so when you put the phone down like that the phone screen is not touching the the tabletop or whatever you put it on so that's pretty nice I mean that's that's always a concern because for some reason I always see people who they put their phones down on the table, they always seem to put it face down, which is very odd. I always typically put it face up, so I mean, that's not a bad idea. But uh, again, so another uh, benefit then for putting the face uh, back down, sorry, is that uh, it protects the camera. As you can see, the cover protrudes out enough that uh, the camera no longer comes in contact with the ground, which it normally does on its own, which can result in some scratched uh, glass around the lens so um yeah so comfortability is definitely nice in this one feels good in the hand doesn't add too much thickness but protection should be uh decent enough that it prevents the most occasional drops from shattering your display or breaking the phone overall and style is pretty much customizable to a point where you can pretty much blame yourself if you don't like the cover um design wise though it's fairly bland i guess it's not much of a difference between a basic cover, they do have an OtterBox logo here on the back, which I'll show you. Which isn't too bad. I mean, they have a cutout for all the different sections, um, the uh, S Pen, and down at the bottom they have a cutout section for the mics and stuff. Um, you might notice that the cutout for the mic here on the right is very big compared to the one on the left, and that's actually on purpose. Um, apparently, there's some devices, Galaxy Note Fours, in the US from AT&T or something like that and the mic is just a little bit to the right or something like that I mean it, I don't know why the, the, they've got it to a little bit to the left or the right but uh, yeah that is the case so basically what they do is they cut it a little bit differently I will jump over here and show you the same on the UHG just so you know that it's not just OtterBox although when we get to the Tech 21 you'll realize that they don't actually have the cutout for it so very odd um, but nonetheless yeah that's pretty much it for the cover I'll give you a quick run around the size of it so you can get, get a look and uh, we'll talk more about it when we're talking about the comparison and such but that's pretty much it um to be honest with you i mean it's take it or leave it with these two covers if i was going between the two the uag or the uh, otter box i do prefer the design of the uag because it's you know it's got an actual design rather than just a bland white cover but some people might prefer this because they don't like the specific armored look of the UAG covers and they might want to go with something a little bit more customizable which I, I guess is the the aspect that OtterBox have over other co uh, cover manufacturers that they have customizations available to them and their protection is definitely great and um, so yeah let's move over to the final cover which is the Tech 21 uh, Classic Mesh okay so the final cover we're taking a look at is the Tech 21 Classic Mesh which I don't know if that's a mistake, but it actually looks more like the, uh, the smoky mesh, which I will jump in now and show you. But the first thing we're going to take a look at is the cover, the box, sorry, itself. And give a quick run around. So what we have here is Made Tough, Made Slim, Classic Mesh for Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Every single cover I've seen now has different languages included on them. They don't make different yokes for different areas, whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, so integrated uh, with D30 impact material that absorbs and dissipates shock away from your device when dropped. That's nice to hear. I mean, that's that's definitely a good thing to hear from a cover and something 
I should help D3 impact protection material. Okay, so that's pretty much the cover. I mean, everything else is just, I mean, in a different language. Okay, so pretty much that's all they have written uh, on the box itself. But again, I mean, you can see it there if you want. Pause it and read it if you wish. But again, let's get the cover out. They have more information here without impactology. Very cheesy name, but whatever. Um, okay, let's see. Without impactology, okay, so the basic principle here is that force will go through and hit your device. With impactology, which is the orange rim that's on the inside, you can see it there. With it, uh, the shock, the force goes here and then it gets dissipated around the device rather than through the device, which is exactly pretty much what every single cover I can imagine would do to some degree, whether they have it or not. But nonetheless, let's jump in and take a look at this cover. Pop that out you out, flip you back, and put you back over. They have a little magnet thing there that actually keeps it closed, which is very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so this is the cover. Okay, so I'm actually gonna zoom out here because there's one thing about this cover that's a little bit different than the other ones that we've just looked at. All of them being hard plastic on the back, this is all completely rubbery. So, I mean, in terms of protection, it's, I don't think it's going to be as good. The rubber will definitely do a good job, but I mean, their main aspect here is this orange band on the inside, which is around the edges, bar the bottom right one, where the S Pen is. Now, I know they have to have the, have the S Pen cut out, but that's probably where this one actually misses out because it's all rubbery and stuff. They don't have hard plastic to go around the cover, like with the Autobox and UAG covers. So you've got this kind of a soft material here so again i've always pointed out that the corners are the main areas to protect because if your phone lands on a, co a corner the low impact point will pretty much almost guarantee almost guarantee um a shattered display simply because the low impact shock it has nowhere else to go but through the display and that pretty much the display can't take that kind of shock at least i don't think even gorilla glass 3 can do it so that's pretty much why I've always looked at it that way. But this is the cover again. It is completely rubbery. We have rubber buttons on both sides. And then we have cutouts for, as you can see in there, headphone uh, jack and, sorry, headphone jack and then uh, the infrared sensor. And then on the bottom, we have cutouts for the two mics. But as I pointed out with the other box one and the UAG cover, their cutouts were a little bit bigger. Now, I'm not sure if they make different covers for the AT&T version or whatever version it is that actually uses the mic on the little bit on the right side, but this one surely doesn't. Now, the microphone does line up with this cover here, specifically with my version, which is the N910F international version. So I don't know whether or not, um, well, I don't, I don't even know which version uses the, the mic to the little bit to the right, but I did hear that it was like an AT&T version or whatever, uh, or Verizon or Sprint or one of those American companies that uh, use it. But again, let's throw the phone in here and take a look at it. Okay, so let's just zoom out there. And uh, we'll put this cover around, which is surprisingly one of the annoying ones because the rubber doesn't seem to want to go fit around properly. Uh, hang on one sec. One second, people, sorry. This is ridiculous, as you can see. I'm just going to show you what the problem is here. It's just not catching it properly. And believe it or not, this is not the first time I've had this problem with this cover. You kind of have to put it in a very specific way. Kind of have to get it under there and then Okay. Same problem on this side. There we go. We did it. Well, I did it. You did nothing. So, okay. There we go. Cover is now on. As you can see. Also very nice. Um, Trying to make sure you guys can see that okay. So, I'm just going to give a quick run around the cover here. As you can kind of see that orange protection impactology thingy. Kind of bleeding through here. It comes kind of through brownish. That's not the camera, that's actually coming through kind of brownish. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the cover. On the back here, it's got kind of two layers of rubbery stuff. One on the inside actually has holes cut out and the one on the back is completely smooth. Um, 
the camera and all is protected and again the front is all protected hang on yeah that's not properly and um, the front isn't protected all that much i mean i mean if you've got a bit of dirt no you should be fine you should be fine i mean there's not too much of an issue there so i mean protection should be good enough that it prevents the screen from getting scratched if you put it flat down which i still suggest you don't just don't do that and then you've nothing to worry about that's the bottom of the cover it's the right side fix the focus dslr cameras don't worry i'll be upgrading soon and as you can see yeah, headphone slot uh, cut out for the infrared and then finally the right side or the left side sorry Fusion. okay so there you go uh yeah, volume slots and all that. Okay, so protection-wise, this is definitely not nearly going to be as good as the OtterBox covers, or um, I guess style. I mean, it's just a rubbery cover. I do like the fact that it's got a kind of, again, a bleed-through and the texture and all is there, and the Samsung one still bleed through. I do like that aspect. I do like it when they let the the original color of your device bleed through a little bit, and that's always a benefit. Then we've got a Tech 21 logo uh, right there on the bottom right. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for this cover. I mean, it's... Again, it's an all rubbery design. The added, this orange peel stuff here on the inside here, that's very strong plastic. I mean, it still bends and all, but it, I mean, I can only imagine that it will do what they say it'll do and it'll offer a little bit of uh, extra absorption uh, around these areas that it is located in. Sadly though, it's not located in the corner, not all that much. I mean, it's located along this strip here, but I mean, dead on that corner right there. Although to be honest with you, the extra bit of rubbering the rubber should do the trick. I mean, it'll it'll protect your device, let's just say. But, I mean, if you're... Like, I can't imagine it doing as good a job as the other covers that we just took a look at. But that's pretty much it for the Tech 21. This is the classic mesh. At least that's what it says in the box. But I'm pretty sure that's the smoky mesh. I don't know. I mean, I can't... I thought the classic mesh was more transparent. This one seems like it's more smoky. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to confirm on that. And I will edit and I'll just throw up a quick confirmed that this is classic or smoky. But that's pretty much it for this cover. We're going to move over and talk about all of these covers together. And pretty much sum up a comparison overall conclusion on which one we think is the best to offer. Okay, conclusion time. So this is pretty much a breakdown of all the th three covers, four covers. I mean, the UAG ones are pretty much the same. So yeah, it's a breakdown of all the covers that we've taken a look at. Pretty much what my favourite one is straight off the bat, UAG, hands down. I mean, I've always been a fan of UAG covers. The OtterBox one is still definitely going to offer protection. The worst one, by far, is the Tech 21. And I'm going to tell you exactly why now in a minute. But first, pretty much protection-wise, um, the UAG and the OtterBox, I'd say they're going to offer a very similar protection. I mean, if 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 you're if it's up in the air and if the battle is between which one's going to give you the best protection... I mean, it's either one. I mean, it's not a decision, really. I mean, the extra padding around the corners is a good thing. But, I mean, this hard plastic um, rubbery design, I mean, it's it's pretty much going to do the same job. The same kind of principle for the two of them. Um, but the design, I think, is just much nicer on the UAG. And it's more distinctive rather than just that. Although, if you want to go for a customization... Um, have a different color they, these come in uh orange grayish greenish bluish whatever I, I mean it's the arrow one i'm not sure what color you would call that but yeah it comes in orange uh white which is this one navigator maverick semi-transparent and then they've got the scout which is the all black one and stuff so you've got outland i think it's called the orange one so i mean they have five or six different colors available for the uag but this one comes in so many different combinations which you can actually pick the front and back different color combinations they pretty much make it in all the primary colors i believe um so yeah i mean it's if it's if if you're looking for a bit of customization yourself with the nice colors go for an auto box but if you're looking for pretty much pick it up pop it on Great protection. The UAG one is my favorite. Um, it's $40. This, I think, is $49. So, I mean, price-wise, the UAG is cheaper. So, I mean, that's probably one of the benefits. So, I mean, protection-wise, again, they're going to be very similar. I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference between the two. They are going to offer great protection. It's pretty much, I guess, covers are about protection first, the style, or at least for me. Um, so, I mean, protection is pretty much par and par, and then moves the style, and I just like the UAG. Um, covers uh, preferably the transparent one um, simply because I like the fact that it lets the original color of your device bleed through 
the Tech 21 cover. Okay, so this one's a little iffy, simply because I don't think it's going to offer that much protection. I mean, it'll offer protection, it'll definitely absorb shocks, and it'll do a great job. Probably not as good as the hard plastic ones, which I think will do a better job, but probably enough that it'll work. However, that being said, they don't have a cutout for the microphone, which I don't think is going to be an issue for most people, unless you're those people who have that phone. Um, but the main issue, this is €34.99. Euro. I mean, I just, I, I just don't see it. I mean, how can this cover be 35 euro? It's the most expensive cover out of these three. In fact, I'm gonna quickly jump over and I'm just gonna confirm really quickly that this is 34.99 because I still can't believe it. I mean, I've checked and I've checked, but I just wanna, on camera, I'm just gonna make sure 100% that this is classic uh, mesh. Classic mesh, yeah. Which I, I still think this is the smoky mesh. I don't know why. I just I, I'm getting that that kind of feeling that that's on uh, note four. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna check here. Okay. So when I remember checking, it was thirty four ninety nine uh, euro. Um, I'm just gonna check it in dollars as well, just for a better comparison. Um, again, forty dollars. Um, uh, forty dollars. So, but to be honest, quick mention with UAG, they always have discounts going. I mean. I think for all of the last two weeks they've had uh, buy one get one fifty percent off or get ten percent off and stuff. They always have so always keep an eye on that. Otterbox I think is forty nine dollars, which actually is pretty expensive for that cover. Okay, as you can see there, it jumps over. Um, yeah, thirty four ninety nine. That's for the classic mesh cover, smoky. So thirty four ninety nine probably works out actually the same price as the Otterbox one which I'm actually gonna confirm now, just so I get this this on the ball here. I probably should have checked beforehand, but to be honest with you, they're constantly changing the prices. Well, not constantly, but there's always deals on. They're always dropping the prices to deal with it and stuff. So just kind of a way to confirm and find out. So Galaxy Note 4 from the Otterbox. Symmetry case is $49. Um, so I believe $49 is, actually, I, I believe that's lower than 35 euro. So if that's the case, Again, though, straight off the bat, even if it was the same price, I just cannot see why it would be that much. Um, I just don't understand it because, to be honest with you, sorry, the camera cut off there, but what I was saying was that I have seen covers like this on eBay. I mean, like, just rubbery covers that for, like, five or six euros or something, like that, even cheaper. And they come in all shapes and sizes, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it's just something I just I can't understand. But, again, um... Sorry, I'm just checking what's fifty dollars to US uh, fifty dollars to euro is, which is actually forty euro. So apologies. Okay, so the Otterbox one is the most expensive, but they do offer customization options, which I think can account for that. But again, protection wise, I just don't see that as offering them the, the same level as the Otterbox cover. It will I mean I know there's gonna be some people out there that will disagree and think this cover is much, much more appealing especially for getting it off and on again but i suppose the otterbox one was just as easy in fact i'll just show you there there's the quick you peel both sides and you push the camera and then you just pull it out it's fairly easy the uag cover is downright actually annoying in fact i'm going to more than likely end up turning off my phone when i do this because i'm always hitting off the power button but again so what i do is i push out one side get it out and you kind of try and have to push the other side which is very hard to do at, with this angle with the camera in front of me so hang on so yeah okay kind of have to push one side then use two fingers to push the other side and then once you do that you push the camera through like that and trust me that's not easy that's really annoying to do especially if you're gonna have to, especially if you get into gear vr a uag cover will be i swear to god annoying thing to do but it might still be worth it um, for the people who aren't getting one, which probably where the Tech 21 might come in handy because it is just a simple rubber case. Although to be honest with you, it doesn't exactly go on. It's easy, like, I mean, it's constantly, it's just not fitting properly, I guess. I guess it's just designed to be really sealed. Look at that camera staring up and everything probably do these videos without the camera phone being on there you go okay so it's on there but it's just it's, it's a lot easier to get off i guess you just pop both 
and then peel off, I guess. It's not as easy to get on. So maybe, I mean, the Autobox and the Tech 21 are pretty similar, getting them on and off. UAG one's a little bit more difficult, but I think over time it'll become much easier, I guess, with a little bit of use. I guess it'll probably expand a little or something like that, or it'll just become a little bit more flexible over time. But that's pretty much it for the comparison. Again, I prefer the UAG, but that's more preference over the design. Uh, the Autobox one will offer the, pretty much the same protection. Tecton one, I just, 35 euro, I just, I just don't see it. That's the only issue I have with it. It's a nice looking cover. I do appreciate the design, the little bleed through and stuff like that. I've always liked that. The rubbery uh, feel of it and stuff um, should offer great, decent protection, not great protection, but decent enough protection that will prevent your phone from shattering. And I do have this orange thing inside, which will, it will help with it hitting on the sides and stuff, which again are low impact points as well. Not as much as the corner, but again, it'll protect your device and that's pretty much what you want. Um, but I mean, I just don't see the, the, the same level of detail that these people have gone through. This one offers customization and decent protection. This one offers fantastic design and multiple um, different offerings. These They do have different uh, designs available, uh, different covers, Tech 21. Uh, it's a nice cover, but just the price is a little high for, I just, I mean, I just don't see it. Like that's pretty much the only uh, problem I have with that cover is that it's very high price, but they're all pretty much around the same price. Autobox being the most expensive, 40 euro. This is $40, this is probably around 22 euro. And this is uh, 34.99, which I think is 40, I think it's $40. I'm actually not sure because I think that the pricing, I'm not sure, is, I'm sorry, this is $40. So that's probably around 30 something euro as well. But again, depends on the area, but you, you, you get the gist of it, okay? $50, $40. And then finally, uh, $34.99, $40 as well. So that's pretty much it for the covers. You can uh, look at um, uh, our other videos we have on the YouTube channel. I've reviewed covers for uh, previous Samsung devices, UAG, Otterbox, and stuff like that. And I do plan on doing more accessory reviews in the future. Um, so definitely check them out as well. And you can check out the full review for these covers on the site, which is pretty much just a breakdown of pictures and stuff. And the, kind of the conclusion I gave of each individual case for... Uh, their own kind of review so that's pretty much it and i hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video and please uh, i'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like the video if you liked it as well so i hope you enjoyed watching thanks a minute